who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. As we rise from sleep, we fall down before thee, O good one, and we cry unto thee with the hymn of the angels, O mighty one. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God. Through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having raised me from bed and from sleep, O Lord, enlighten my mind and my heart, and open thou my lips, that I may praise thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God. Through the Theotokos, have mercy on us both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Of a sudden the judge shall come, and the deeds of each shall be laid bare. But let us cry out with fear in the midst of the night. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God. Through the Theotokos have mercy on us. Kyrieleison, Kyrieleison, Kyrieleison. Kyrieleison, Kyrieleison, Kyrieleison. Kyrieleison, Kyrieleison, Kyrieleison. Kyrieleison, Kyrieleison, Kyrieleison. As I rise from sleep, I thank thee, O Holy Trinity, for because of thy great goodness and long suffering, thou wast not wroth with me, the slothful and sinner, nor didst thou destroy me in mine iniquities, but didst show thy wanted love for man. And when I was prostrate in despair, thou didst raise me to keep the morning watch and glorify thy dominion. And now enlighten thou the eyes of my mind, open my mouth to meditate on thy words and to understand thy commandments and to do thy will and to chant unto thee in heartfelt confession, and praise thine all-holy name, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship and fall down before our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Him, Christ the King and our God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know mine iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom, hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hadst desired sacrifice, I had given it. With whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken and humbled God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, and thy good pleasure unto Zion, and that the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. And in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge the living and dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. 
in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Thee do we bless, thou most high God and Lord of mercy, whoever worketh with us deeds great and unfathomable, glorious and extraordinary, whereof there is no number, who hast given unto us sleep for rest from our infirmity and for repose of our much toiling flesh. We thank thee that thou hast not destroyed us in our iniquities, but hast shown thy wanted love for man, and though we were prostrate in despair, thou hast raised us up to glorify thy dominion. Wherefore, we beseech thine incomparable goodness, enlighten the eyes of our understanding, and raise our mind from the heavy sleep of slothfulness. Open our mouth and fill it with thy praise, that we may be able undistracted to sing and chant and give thanks unto thee, who art God glorified in all and by all, the beginningless Father, with thine only begotten Son, and thine all holy and good and life-creating Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Most glorious, ever-Virgin, blessed Theotokos, present our prayer to thy Son and our God, and pray that through thee he would save our souls. My hope is the Father, my refuge the Son, my shelter the Holy Spirit. O Holy Trinity, glory be to thee. Unto thee do I commit mine every hope, O Mother of God. Guard me under thy shelter. It is truly meet to call thee blessed, the Theotokos, the ever-blessed and all-immaculate, and Mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gavest birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Forgive them that hate us and do us wrong, O Lord. Do good unto them that do good unto us. To our brethren and kinsmen, grant their requests that are unto salvation and life everlasting. Visit them that be in sickness and grant them healing. Pilot them that be at sea. Accompany them that journey. Be thou the ally of Orthodox Christians. Unto them that minister and show mercy unto us, grant forgiveness of sins. Upon them that have enjoined us, the unworthy, to pray for them, have mercy according to thy great mercy. Remember, O Lord, all our fathers and brethren who have gone to their rest before us, and grant them rest where the light of thy countenance shineth. Remember, O Lord, our brethren, the captives, and deliver them from every misfortune. Remember, O Lord, them that bring oblations and do good works in thy holy churches, and grant them their requests that are unto salvation and life everlasting. Remember, O Lord, us also, thy humble and sinful and unworthy servants, and enlighten our mind with the light of thy knowledge, and lead us in the path of thy commandments, by the intercessions of thine all-immaculate Mother, Our Lady the Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary, and of all thy saints, for blessed art thou unto all ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. Heavenly King, O Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, O treasury of every good and bestower of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Ayos o Theos, ayos isgiros, ayos o thanatos, eleis onimas. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. As we rise from sleep, we fall down before thee, O good one, and we cry unto thee with the hymn of the angels, O mighty one. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God. Through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
Having raised me from bed and from sleep, O Lord, enlighten my mind and my heart, and open thou my lips, that I may praise thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos have mercy on us, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Of a sudden the judge shall come, and the deeds of each shall be laid bare. But let us cry out with fear in the midst of the night. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos have mercy on us. Kirileison, 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 Kirileison. As I rise from sleep, I thank thee, O Holy Trinity, for because of thy great goodness and long suffering, thou wast not wroth with me, the slothful and sinner, nor didst thou destroy me in mine iniquities, but didst show thy wanted love for man, and when I was prostrate in despair, Thou didst raise me to keep the morning watch and glorify thy dominion. And now enlighten thou the eyes of my mind. Open my mouth to meditate on thy words and to understand thy commandments and to do thy will and to chant unto thee in heartfelt confession and praise thine all-holy name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship and fall down before our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Him, Christ the King and our God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to Thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of Thy compassions blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know mine iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against Thee only have I sinned, and done this evil before Thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hadst desired sacrifice, I had given it. With whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken and humbled God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, and thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day, according to the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets, in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Thee do we bless, Thou most high God and Lord of mercy, whoever worketh with us deeds great and unfathomable, glorious and extraordinary, whereof there is no number, who hast given unto us sleep for rest from our infirmity and for repose of our much toiling flesh. We thank Thee that Thou hast not destroyed us in our iniquities, but hast shown Thy wanted love for man. And though we were prostrate in despair, Thou hast raised us up to glorify Thy dominion. 
Wherefore, we beseech thine incomparable goodness, enlighten the eyes of our understanding, and raise our mind from the heavy sleep of slothfulness. Open our mouth and fill it with thy praise, that we may be able undistracted to sing and chant and give thanks unto thee, who art God glorified in all and by all, the beginningless Father, with thine only begotten Son, and thine all holy and good and life-creating Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Most glorious, ever-Virgin, blessed Theotokos, present our prayer to thy Son and our God, and pray that through thee he would save our souls. My hope is the Father, my refuge the Son, my shelter the Holy Spirit. O Holy Trinity, glory be to thee. Unto thee do I commit mine every hope, O Mother of God. Guard me under thy shelter. It is truly meet to call thee blessed, the Theotokos, the ever-blessed and all-immaculate, and Mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gavest birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Forgive them that hate us and do us wrong, O Lord. Do good unto them that do good unto us. To our brethren and kinsmen, grant their requests that are unto salvation and life everlasting. Visit them that be in sickness and grant them healing. Pilot them that be at sea. Accompany them that journey. Be thou the ally of Orthodox Christians. Unto them that minister and show mercy unto us, grant forgiveness of sins. Upon them that have enjoined us, the unworthy, to pray for them, have mercy according to thy great mercy. Remember, O Lord, all our fathers and brethren who have gone to their rest before us, and grant them rest where the light of thy countenance shineth. Remember, O Lord, our brethren, the captives, and deliver them from every misfortune. Remember, O Lord, them that bring oblations and do good works in thy holy churches, and grant them their requests that are unto salvation and life everlasting. Remember, O Lord, us also, thy humble and sinful and unworthy servants, and enlighten our mind with the light of thy knowledge, and lead us in the path of thy commandments, by the intercessions of thine all-immaculate Mother, Our Lady the Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary, and of all thy saints, for blessed art thou unto all ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. Heavenly King, O Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things. O Treasury of every good and bestower of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O Good One. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Aios o Theos, Aios Isiros, Aios o Thanatos, Eleis Onimas. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities, for thy name's sake. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. As we rise from sleep, we fall down before thee, O good one, and we cry unto thee with the hymn of the angels, O mighty one. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God. Through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having raised me from bed and from sleep, O Lord, enlighten my mind and my heart, and open thou my lips, that I may praise thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God. Through the Theotokos, have mercy on us, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Of a sudden the judge shall come, and the deeds of each shall be laid bare. But let us cry out with fear in the midst of the night. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God. Through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. 
Kirileison, Kirileison, Kirileison. As I rise from sleep, I thank thee, O Holy Trinity, for because of thy great goodness and long suffering, thou wast not wroth with me, the slothful and sinner, nor didst thou destroy me in mine iniquities, but didst show thy wanted love for man. And when I was prostrate in despair, thou didst raise me to keep the morning watch and glorify thy dominion. And now enlighten thou the eyes of my mind, open my mouth to meditate on thy words and to understand thy commandments and to do thy will and to chant unto thee in heartfelt confession and praise thine all-holy name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship and fall down before our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before him, Christ the King and our God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know mine iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hadst desired sacrifice, I had given it. With whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken and humbled God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, and thy good pleasure unto Zion, and that the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. And in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father through whom all things were made who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day, according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Thee do we bless, Thou most high God and Lord of mercy, whoever workest with us deeds great and unfathomable, glorious and extraordinary, whereof there is no number who has given unto us sleep for rest from our infirmity and for repose of our much toiling flesh. We thank thee that thou hast not destroyed us in our iniquities, but hast shown thy wanted love for man. And though we were prostrate in despair, thou hast raised us up to glorify thy dominion. Wherefore, we beseech thine incomparable goodness, enlighten the eyes of our understanding, and raise our mind from the heavy sleep of slothfulness. Open our mouth and fill it with thy praise, that we may be able undistracted to sing and chant and give thanks unto thee, who art God glorified in all and by all, the beginningless Father, with thine only begotten Son and thine all-holy and good and life-creating Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Most glorious, ever-Virgin, blessed Theotokos, present our prayer to thy Son and our God, and pray that through thee he would save our souls. My hope is the Father, 
my refuge the Son, my shelter the Holy Spirit. O Holy Trinity, glory be to Thee. Unto Thee do I commit mine every hope, O Mother of God. Guard me under Thy shelter. It is truly meet to call Thee blessed, the Theotokos, the ever-blessed and all-immaculate, and Mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim, Thee who without corruption gavest birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, Thee do we magnify. Forgive them that hate us and do us wrong, O Lord. Do good unto them that do good unto us. To our brethren and kinsmen, grant their requests that are unto salvation and life everlasting. Visit them that be in sickness and grant them healing. Pilot them that be at sea. Accompany them that journey. Be thou the ally of Orthodox Christians. Unto them that minister and show mercy unto us, grant forgiveness of sins. Upon them that have enjoined us, the unworthy, to pray for them, have mercy according to thy great mercy. Remember, O Lord, all our fathers and brethren who have gone to their rest before us, and grant them rest where the light of thy countenance shineth. Remember, O Lord, our brethren, the captives, and deliver them from every misfortune. Remember, O Lord, them that bring oblations and do good works in thy holy churches, and grant them their requests that are unto salvation and life everlasting. Remember, O Lord, us also, thy humble and sinful and unworthy servants, and enlighten our mind with the light of thy knowledge, and lead us in the path of thy commandments, by the intercessions of thine all-immaculate Mother, Our Lady the Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary, and of all thy saints, for blessed art thou unto all ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Thee, our God. Glory to Thee. Heavenly King, O Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, O Treasury of every good and bestower of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O Good One. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Aios o Theos, Aios Isgiros, Aios o Thanatos, Eleis Onimas. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Kyrieleison, Kyrieleison, Kyrieleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. As we rise from sleep, we fall down before thee, O good one, and we cry unto thee with the hymn of the angels, O mighty one. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God. Through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having raised me from bed and from sleep, O Lord, enlighten my mind and my heart, and open thou my lips, that I may praise thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God. Through the Theotokos, have mercy on us, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Of a sudden the judge shall come, and the deeds of each shall be laid bare. But let us cry out with fear in the midst of the night. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God. Through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Kyrieleison, Kyrieleison, Kyrieleison. Kyrieleison, Kyrieleison, Kyrieleison. Kyrieleison, Kyrieleison, Kyrieleison. Kyrieleison, Kyrieleison, Kyrieleison. As I rise from sleep, I thank thee, O Holy Trinity, for because of thy great goodness and long suffering, thou wast not wroth with me, the slothful and sinner, nor didst thou destroy me in mine iniquities, but didst show thy wanted love for man. And when I was prostrate in despair, thou didst raise me to keep the morning watch and glorify thy dominion. And now enlighten thou the eyes of my mind, open my mouth to meditate on thy words and to understand thy commandments and to do thy will and to chant unto thee in heartfelt confession and praise thine all-holy name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit 
now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship and fall down before our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Him, Christ the King and our God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to Thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of Thy compassions blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know mine iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hadst desired sacrifice, I had given it. With whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken and humbled God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, and thy good pleasure unto Zion, and that the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. And in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father through whom all things were made who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day, according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Thee do we bless, Thou most high God and Lord of mercy, whoever workest with us deeds great and unfathomable, glorious and extraordinary, whereof there is no number who has given unto us sleep for rest from our infirmity and for repose of our much toiling flesh. We thank thee that thou hast not destroyed us in our iniquities, but hast shown thy wanted love for man, and though we were prostrate in despair, thou hast raised us up to glorify thy dominion. Wherefore, we beseech thine incomparable goodness, enlighten the eyes of our understanding, and raise our mind from the heavy sleep of slothfulness. Open our mouth and fill it with thy praise, that we may be able undistracted to sing and chant and give thanks unto thee, who art God glorified in all and by all, the beginningless Father, with thine only begotten Son, and thine all holy and good and life-creating Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Most glorious, ever-Virgin, blessed Theotokos, present our prayer to thy Son and our God, and pray that through thee he would save our souls. My hope is the Father, my refuge the Son, my shelter, the Holy Spirit. O Holy Trinity, glory be to thee. Unto thee do I commit mine every hope, O Mother of God. Guard me under thy shelter. It is truly meet to call thee blessed, the Theotokos, the ever-blessed and all-immaculate, and Mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gavest birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Forgive them that hate us and do us wrong, O Lord. Do good unto them that do good unto us. To our brethren and kinsmen, grant their requests 
that are unto salvation and life everlasting. Visit them that be in sickness, and grant them healing. Pilot them that be at sea. Accompany them that journey. Be thou the ally of Orthodox Christians. Unto them that minister and show mercy unto us, grant forgiveness of sins. Upon them that have enjoined us, the unworthy, to pray for them, have mercy according to thy great mercy. Remember, O Lord, all our fathers and brethren who have gone to their rest before us, and grant them rest where the light of thy countenance shineth. Remember, O Lord, our brethren, the captives, and deliver them from every misfortune. Remember, O Lord, them that bring oblations and do good works in thy holy churches, and grant them their requests that are unto salvation and life everlasting. Remember, O Lord, us also, thy humble and sinful and unworthy servants, and enlighten our mind with the light of thy knowledge, and lead us in the path of thy commandments, by the intercessions of thine all-immaculate Mother, Our Lady the Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary, and of all thy saints, for blessed art thou unto all ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. Heavenly King, O Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, O treasury of every good and bestower of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O Good One. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Aios o Theos, Aios Isgiros, Aios o Thanatos, Eleis o Nimas. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. As we rise from sleep, we fall down before thee, O Good One, and we cry unto thee with the hymn of the angels, O Mighty One. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God. Through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having raised me from bed and from sleep, O Lord, enlighten my mind and my heart, and open thou my lips, that I may praise thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God. <coughs> Through the Theotokos, have mercy on us, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Of a sudden the judge shall come, and the deeds of each shall be laid bare. But let us cry out with... Amen. God, be gracious to me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. God, be gracious to me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. God, be gracious to me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. Blessed is our God now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Vox si Christe o Theos, il pisimon vox si vasile forania paraclete do pneumati salithias. O panta hu paron que de panta pleron o this of roston agathon que zuis horigos. El ve que esquinos un enemigo que zares un imas por pases que lidos que sosan. Agathet as psihas, Simón. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious to us in our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, consider our weaknesses and heal them for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Amen. Thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. From evil. 
from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of age of Amen. Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over adversaries and protecting your commonwealth by your cross. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Lifted up on the cross by your free will, Christ God, grant mercies to the new commonwealth that bears your name. Glad in our faithful rulers by your power, giving them victory over their adversaries. May your alliance be for them a weapon for peace and invincible standard, now and always, forever and ever. Amen. Awesome and unfailing protection, do not spur in our supplications, gracious and all praise that tokos. Uphold the Orthodox Commonwealth, preserve those whom you have called to govern, and grant them victory from on high. For you, the only Blessed One, gave birth to God. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, let us pray for all devout and Orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for Archbishop and Father Methodius and all of our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of age of. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. Glory to the holy and consubstantial and life-giving and undivided Trinity, always now and forever and ever. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to men. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, why do so many taunt thee? Many of those who rise up against me, many who say to me, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord in a loud voice, and from his holy mountain he heard me. As to me, I lay down and slept, and I woke, for the Lord will help me. I will not fear ten thousands of people arrayed against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, my God, for you have stricken all who hated me without cause. You have shattered the teeth of sinners. This deliverance is the Lord's. Upon your people be your blessing. As for me, I lay down and slept, and I woke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, in your anchor rebuke me not, chastise me not in your wrath. Your arrows have bored into me, and your hand weighs heavily upon me. Because of your wrath, there is no soundness in my flesh. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my iniquities have overwhelmed me. They have weighed me down like a heavy load. My sores have become stench and festering because of my folly. A stooping and exhausting wreck, I stumbled mourning all the day. My loins were burning with fever, for my life is a total mockery, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I was crushed and deeply afflicted. afflicted. I, was roar I roared with the groaning of my heart. O oh Lord, all my longing is known to you, and my groaning is no secret to you. My heart races, my strength has left me, and even the light of my eyes have failed me. My friends and companions approached and stood by while my closest kinsmen kept their distance, and those who sought my life were egged on while those who wished me ill spoke lies, plotting deception all the day. But I remained as a deaf man and heard them not, as a dumb man and opened not my mouth, as a man who has not heard a thing and thus has no retort upon his lips. In you, O Lord, I have placed my trust. You will give heed, O Lord, my God. I said, O oh, that my foes cease to gloat over me, who bluster mightily when my feet stumbled. As for me, I am ready to be scourged. My pain is with me always. Indeed, I myself confess my guilt. I will live in anguish because of my sin. But my enemies survive and overpower me, and those who hate me without cause are multiplied. Those who, rendering evil for good, opposed me when I sought but justice. O oh, Lord God, forsake me not. Stay not afar from me. Hasten to help me, O oh, Lord God, of my salvation. O Lord, forsake me not, stay not afar from me, hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. <clears throat> o God, my God, at dawn I rise to you, my soul is thirsted for you. O how my flesh has hungered for you. Like a desolate and trackless land that has no water, so did I come before you in your holy place to see the power and the glory that are yours. <clears throat> Since your love is better than life itself, my lips will, shall declare your praise. So shall I bless you as long as I live and lift up my hands and call upon your name. My soul shall be filled with choices fair and joyful lips will praise your name. As I lay on my couch, I remembered you. I meditated on you throughout the early watches that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings, I will find a light. My soul clings to you and your right hand upholds me. For as for, as for those who sought my life in vain, may they sink into the depths of the earth and be given over to the sword, the prey of jackals they shall be. 
but the king shall rejoice in God, and all who swear by him shall glory, for the mouth of liars is stopped. I meditated on you throughout the early watches that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find delight. My soul clings to you, and your right hand upholds me. Glory to the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, uh, unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, day and night I cry out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you. Lend your ear to my plea, O Lord. When my soul was filled with trouble and my life comes close to Hades, I was reckoned with those who go down into the pit. I was like a man beyond help left for the dead. Like the slain left to lie in the grave, those you remember no more, for they are cut away from your hand. You have cast me down to the deepest abyss in darkness and the shadow of death. Your anger was a burden upon me. You poured your billows over me. <clears throat> you took my friends away from me. You made me loathsome to them. I was closed in and could not escape. My eyes grew dim with distress. I cried out to you, O Lord, all the day I stretched out my hands to you. But will you work wonders for the dead? O can physicians raise them up to sing your praise? Does anyone sing your love in the grave or your truthfulness in the midst of perdition? Are your marvels ever known in darkness or your justice in the land of oblivion? And yet, O Lord, I cried out to you, and to you my prayer shall rise at dawn. Why, O Lord, do you reject my prayer? Why do you hide your face away from me? I am wretched and troubled since my youth. I was raised high, then humbled and distressed. Your plagues have swept over me, and your terrors have left me shaken. They surround me like waters all the day. They close in upon me from all sides. You have distanced from me, friend and neighbor, and my acquaintances, so wretched am I. O Lord God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you. Lend your ear to my request, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. May all that is within me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all the gifts from him who pardons all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who ransoms your life from corruption and crowns you with his love and mercies, who fills your longing with what is good and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord performs deeds of kindness and vindication for all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his will to Israel's children. The Lord is the one of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and manifold love. His contention is not forever, nor will his anger always last. He has not dealt with us, as our sins demand, nor does he repay our evil deeds. For as high as the heavens stand over the earth, so far has the Lord extended his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. As, <clears throat> as kind as a father is to his children, so is the Lord to those who fear him. For he himself knows well how we were formed, remembers we are only made of dust. A man, his days resemble grass as a flower of the field, so shall he bloom. But let a breeze pass over him, and he is gone, and never shall he know his place again. But the love of the Lord is from all eternity into all eternity for those who fear him. And his justice is upon the children of children of those who keep his covenant and remember his laws to obey them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Over all things his kingship is supreme. Bless the Lord. <clears throat> All you, his angels, you strong and mighty ones who obey his word on hearing the sound of his decree. Bless the Lord, all you, his powers, his attendants who obey his will. Bless the Lord, all you, his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in every place of his dominion. O Lord, hear my prayer. In your truthfulness, give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness, answer me, and enter not into judgment with your servant, since of all the living, none is just in your sight. The enemy has hunted me down. He has crushed my life into the ground. He has forced me to live in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints with grief, and within me my heart is in despair. I recalled the days of old. I meditated on your deeds. I pondered the works of your hands. I stretched out my hand to you like a parched land. My soul thirsts for you. Make haste to answer me, O Lord. My spirit has failed. Turn not your face away from me, lest I be like those that go down into the pit. Grant that I may hear your steadfast love at dawn, for I have placed my hope in you. O Lord, teach me the way I should go, for I have lifted up my soul to you. O Lord, deliver me from my enemies. It is to you that I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. <clears throat> May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. For the sake of your name, O Lord, you will keep me alive. In your righteousness, you will deliver me from affliction. 
and in your loving kindness you will destroy my enemies and bring to naught all those who oppress me, for I am your servant. O Lord, hear my prayer in your truthfulness, give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness answer me. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. God. Our hope, O Lord. Glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For heavenly peace and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace of the whole world, the stability of God's holy churches, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop and Father Methodius, the honorable priest of the deacons in the service of Christ, and all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, the President, and in all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city and this parish, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For temperate weather, abundance of the goods of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be spared from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, <coughs> Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us. O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For all glory, honor, and worship are your due, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of age Amen. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. This came about from the Lord, and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. <clears throat> when the angelic powers appeared at your grave, the soldiers guarding it feared and became as dead. And standing by the sepulcher was Mary who was seeking your immaculate body. You devastated Hades, not afflicted by it. You went to meet the virgin and granted eternal life. You resurrected from the dead. O oh Lord, glory to you. <clears throat> glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. In you, O oh Mother, is preserved undistorted what was made in the image of God. For taking up the cross, you followed Christ and taught by your example that we should overlook the flesh since it passed away and instead look after the soul. 
since it is immortal and therefore O oh, devout Ephrosyne, your spirit rejoices with the angels, <clears throat> both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Born of a virgin, O oh, good one, who also endured crucifixion for our sake, who by death took the spoils of death as plunder and showed resurrection, being God. O oh, despise not the ones that you formed with your own hand. Demonstrate your love for man, O oh Lord of mercy, and accept your mother, the Theotokos, who intercedes on our behalf, O oh, Savior, and save us, a despairing people. The sepulcher had been opened and Hades was lamenting and Mary cried out to the apostles in hiding come out come out O laborers of the vineyard and preach the message of the resurrection the Lord has arisen and granted the world his great mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Standing by your sepulcher was Mary Magdalene, O Lord, and she was weeping loudly. And mistaken, and mistaking you for the God, God and uh, said to you, Where have you hid in everlasting life? Where have you laid him who sits on a throne of cherubim? Out of fear. Those who guarded him became like dead men. Either give my Lord to me or cry aloud along with me. You were among the dead and raised the dead. Glory to, glory to you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. The host of angels was overwhelmed, seeing you among the dead. You destroyed the power of death, O Savior. You rose from the dead and brought Adam with you. All were freed from Hades. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Why do you mingle the ointments with your tears full of pity? O oh, women disciples, thus the angel who was shining in the tomb cried unto the murmuring women, See for yourself the empty tomb and understand that the Savior has risen from the sepulchre. Blessed are you, Lord, teach me your statutes. In the early morn the mere bears came mourning to your tomb. But an angel appeared before them and said, The time for mourning has passed. Weep not. Go and proclaim his resurrection to the apostles. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. When the myrrh-bearing women had come with their spices to your sepulchre, O Savior, they heard the voice of an angel clearly speaking to them. Why do you account among the dead the one who lives? For is God, he has risen from the sepulchre. Glory to the Father and the Son 
and the Holy Spirit. We worship the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, one in essence. We proclaim with the seraphim, Holy, holy, holy are you, O Lord. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. Giving birth to the giver of life, O Virgin, you delivered Adam from sin, and to Eve you have rendered joy in place of sorrow. He who from you became incarnate God and man has directed to life him who fell from it. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 doxasio theo. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. O Christ, your willing and life-giving death has crushed the gates of Hades. As God, you have opened the paradise of old. You rose from the dead and redeemed our life from corruption. O Logos, I lift up my eyes to the heavens. Have mercy upon me that I may live in you. O Logos, have mercy upon us who have been humbled and make us to be your useful vessels. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit is the cause of universal salvation. When he blows on someone, as befits his nature, he quickly, he quickly uplifts him from the mundane gives him wings, augments him, ranges him on high. They who trust in the Lord look heavenward. They are feared by their enemies and admired by all. The congregation of the righteous shall not stretch out their hands to iniquity. You are their help, O Savior, glory. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit is the is Theosis good pleasure, understanding, peace, and blessing for all men. He has the same energies, the Father and the Logos. O Lord, stir up your power and come and save us, restore us, O God. O Lord, raise up your power and come for our salvation. Give heed, O Shepherd of Israel. O Lord, stir up your power and come and save us, restore us, O God. When the life bestower Christ God resurrected with his vivifying hand from the dismal caverns, all the dead from eternity, he freely bestowed resurrection on the substance of our mortal humanity. For he is, our, he is the savior of all, resurrection and life, and the God of all things. The God of all things. Your cross and tomb, O life giver, we believers worship and sing praise. For hell, O you who live forever, as almighty God you have laid. The gates of hell you tore to shreds, and as God the might of death have raised. So avidly we earth-born praise in doxology the one now raised, who destroyed the deadly power of our foe. You have resurrected everyone, all those who believe in you. You have rescued the world from the serpent's fangs and have snatched us from allure to the hostile one, as alone you had the ability to do. Hence, we pious, piously sing the praises of your rising by which you saved us as, as the God of all things. On this, the 25th day of the month, we commemorate our venerable mother, Ephrosini, the daughter of Paphnutios the Egyptian. On this day, the memory of the holy martyr, Paphnutios, 
On this day, we remember the great earthquake in which the child was caught up in the air. On this day, the memory of the holy martyrs Paul, Tati, and their children, Sabianos, Maximos, Rufus, and Eugene, through their intercessions, O God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. I shall open my mouth, and it shall be filled with the Spirit. I shall sing praise to the Mother and Queen, and I shall be seen in radiant celebration, joyful singing of her wonders. The prophet Habakkuk, comprehending the unfathomable, comprehending the unfathomable divine will, that your Most High became incarnate of a virgin, cried out, Glory to your might, O Lord. Come, clap your hands, O godly people, as you celebrate this sacred and most honorable great feast of the Mother of God. Glorify God, who was born of her. The godly did not worship creation above the Creator, but bravely overcame the threat of fire and rejoiced, singing, Blessed are you and most praise, Lord God of our fathers. We praise, we bless, and we worship the Lord. The pious youths were perceived from the furnace by the child of the Theotokos, then prefigured an image, now in reality. He brings together the whole universe to sing, praise the Lord, all his works, and exalt him forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For you are God, are holy, and dwell in your holy sanctuary. And you we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever. And to the ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that breathes mm. praise the Lord. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. That we may be found worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us entreat the Lord our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Let us listen attentively. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. On the first day of the week at early dawn, they went to the tomb, taking the spices which they had prepared, and they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, behold, two men stood by them in dazzling apparel. And as they were frightened and bowed their faces to the ground, the men said to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee that the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and on the third day rise. And they remembered his words. And returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene and Joanna and Mary, the mother of James, and the other woman with them, who told this to the apostles. But these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. But Peter rose and ran to the tomb. Stooping and looking in, he saw the linen cloths by themselves, and he went home wondering at what had <coughs> happened. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory, Glory to, to you. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our God. Apart from you, we know no other. We call upon your name. Come, all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. 
Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness and my sin is always, always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions, and in sins my mother, my mother bore me. Behold, you love, you, you, you love truth. You showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humble shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins, and blot out all of my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew in me right spirit, renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver, deliver me from your blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would have given it. You will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit. A broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness and with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then they shall offer young bulls on your altar and have mercy on me, O God. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit at the intercessions of the apostles, O Lord of mercy, blot out my many offenses. Now oh. and always, and forever and ever, amen. Through the prayers, O merciful, of the Theotokos, wash away the multitude of my many personal offenses. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Jesus, having risen from the grave as he foretold, has granted us eternal life and great mercy. O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Uplift the strength of Orthodox Christians. Send down upon us your abundant mercies through the intercessions of our most pure lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the prayers of the honorable bodiless heavenly powers, of the honorable glorious prophet and former John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praiseworthy apostles, of our fathers among the saints and great ecumenical teachers and hierarchs, Basil the Great, Gregory the theologian, the patron saint of our church, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius and Cyril John, the merciful patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Myra, Spiridon of Trimethus, and Nectadius of Pentapolis, the wonder workers, the holy glorious great martyrs, George the standard bearer, Demetrius the Mirobleed, the Theodore of Tyre and Theodore the commander, Minas the wonder worker, Eleftherios and Halalamos, the holy priest martyrs, of the holy glorious great martyrs, Thecla Barbara, 
Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina, Pereskevi, and Irene, of the holy, glorious, and victorious martyrs, of our venerable and godly ascetic fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of the venerable Ephrosini and Paphnutios, the venerable martyr, whose memory we keep today, and of all your saints, we beseech you, the only most merciful Lord, listen to us, sinners who pray to you, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lei che tu mi schifi l'antropia di morning in usu metho voi tosi, sento pana io che agatho che zo più su pneb mati, nin che ahi che istu se onas done ono. Amen. Honoring her with hymns, let us magnify the Theotokos, the mother of light, teen Theotokon chimitero tu fotos, and in this Timontes, Megalinoman. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you who do we magnify. For he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant, for behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. He has shown strength with his arm, he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. He has put down the mighty from their thrones, and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. He has spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. All upon the earth with festival lamps in hand, in spirit leap for joy, and all you, and all you the heavenly angelic orders join in, join in and celebrate, and honoring the sacred wonders of the mother 
of God. Sing the joyful salutations, O oh, rejoice. The th Theotokos, O oh, blessed ever virgin, pure. You craftily evaded the ruler of obscenity and showed him to be lacking wit by your wisely chosen habit. While both in body and in soul you were a virgin, you became a man in faith and sound judgment. O oh, devout Ephrosyne, as the beauty and the jewel of virgins and women monastics. is due to execute on them the written judgment. This is glory for all his faithful. Your cross, O Lord, is life and resurrection to your people. Trusting in that cross, we praise you. Our risen Lord, have mercy on us. Praise God in his saints. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Sovereign Lord, your burial has opened paradise to the human race, and now redeemed from corruption, we extol you, our God, who has risen, have mercy on us. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him for the fullness of his majesty. Let us praise Christ, who rose from the dead with the Father and the Spirit. Let us cry out to him, you are life and our resurrection. Have mercy on us. Praise him with the sound of trumpet. Praise him with the harp and lyre. You rose within three days from the tomb, O oh, oh Christ. As Holy Scripture says, also raising our progenitor with you now and now all mankind together forever glorifies you and we extol your resurrection O lord praise him with timbrel and dance praise him with strings and pipe the mystery of your resurrection is great and awesome you emerge from the grave as would a bridegroom from his chamber. You destroy death by death, that you might free Adam. Wherefore angels in heaven rejoice, and people on earth glorify your compassion toward us, O loving one. Praise him with the resounding simple symbols, Praise him with the triumphant symbols. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. O iniquitous Judeans, where are the seals of where, and where is the money that you gave to the soldier, soldiers? The treasure was not stolen, but he rose, 
the mighty one. You yourselves were put to shame for renouncing Christ the Lord of glory who suffered and was buried and resurrected from the dead. Let us worship him. O Lord, my God, lift your mighty hand, forget not your poor. Why do they say they have been robbed? They play his guards and seals on the tomb and secured it. But the king emerged, even though closed doors. Show him as dead or worship him with us singing. Glory to your cross and resurrection, O Lord. I will give, I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will t- tell of your wondrous things. The myrrh-bearing women arrived at your life-bearing tomb, lamenting, O Lord. They carried ointments with them in intending to anoint your immaculate body. But what they found was a radiant angel sitting on the stone who spoke to them, saying, Why do you weep for him who from his side gushed forth life for the world? Why do you seek the immortal as if he were a mortal in a tomb? Rather run quickly and announce the universal universal joy of his glorious resurrection to his disciples. By your rising, illumine us, O Savior, and grant us expiation and great mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, At early dawn, the woman came to your tomb, O Christ, but the body they sought was not to be found. Bewildered, they heard from those standing about them who were clothed in radiant raiment. Why do you seek him who lives among the dead? He is risen as he foretold. Have you forgotten his words? Convinced by all they saw, the woman went forth and proclaimed it. They brought their glad tidings to the disciples who were still so dazed they thought them to be untrue. But Peter went and saw and gave glory to the wonder itself. Vox apatrike ioke aio pnevmati, orthos ivahathis ke iene gahasihilvon, epitomnihi mahasu Christe, alatosoma hukerehethi, Topu <laughs> Us peace the setor authentum ekiriton. Allelo kiliros ta evangeliam utos isan et inothis imatithem. Allo petros edrahame keidon exoxazem suprotos eavtun now and always and forever and ever, amen. You are greatly blessed, O Virgin Theotokos, for Hades has been taken captive by him who was born of you 
Adam was brought back, the curse was abolished, Eve was delivered, death was put to death, and we were given life anew. In praise we cry aloud, Blessed are you, O Christ, our God, who have shown your good pleasure. Glory to you. Ivan <laughs> O to sev do kisas doxas i i Good morning everybody. You can be seated Lillian. It's okay for a few moments here as we allow our singing leaders a little bit of time to get set up. Um, today is a, a very special day at our church. I know we just had a couple of wonderful Sundays, um, our, our ministry fair, if you will, and barbecue and picnic and kind of get to know you again days. And last Sunday's first day of Sunday school was certainly a great event. We had a lot of children here and it was very exciting to see them and to be together and to have a chance to bless them um, with holy water from last epiphany and to do that agiosmo, that water blessing that many of us are very familiar with from the first days of the new year at our homes and other places that we dwell and visit and work in and play in and certainly also at the beginning of the new school year whether it's a, a church school, a Sunday school um, or, or any kind of school, a school at home. I've even been invited over the years to go to different um, nursery schools and, and different schools throughout the greater community to, to bless uh, those spaces when it was appropriate for that school to have that done. Um, today is another one, a good friend of mine who I haven't seen in years, uh, Dr. Vespina Prasas, who is now a, an instructor, a full professor at Providence College. Um, her expertise is St. Maximus the Confessor. And she's going to be joining us today a little bit later for worship and to join us for breakfast. We're having some pancakes today, from what I understand, which is a terrific thing. Um, and we'll have some time for, especially for our young ladies, our mirror-bearing um, girls and young women, this nascent group we've been trying to grow and, 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 and expand, uh, to have some time to sit with her and just have a little time to chat during breakfast. And then she'll offer us a presentation, rather brief. I'd like to have more time with her, but 20, 25 minutes. Um, after we are kind of wrapping up our, our pancakes, and she's had some pancakes as well. Um, but she's going to be talking to us about the Orthros Gospels, uh, specifically about the role of the mirror bearing woman as we see them, um, you know, demonstrated um, their, their faithfulness, their vigilance, their early morning appearance um, at the tomb, ready to minister to their Lord as they had throughout um, all of his ministry. She's going to talk about them, different aspects of, of what they say to us and what they say to us about our faith and the instructiveness of, of their character, the instructiveness of their life journeys and how we can pull some of those things into our life as well uh, to remind us that depending on the, on the reading that you and I are looking at, um, they are the first ones to not only bear witness but also to spread the word to spread the news. And every morning on Sunday mornings or different days when I take the gospel out, or Father Manny does and takes the gospel out during Orthros for you to come and to reverence, that is indicative or a reminder of those women receiving the good news of the resurrection, certainly the apostles and disciples as well, but then doing something about it and going out into the world. So when we take those, those gospel books out, I kind of imagine um, those women so long ago running, not walking, but running 
and running to tell that news and to share the good news of the resurrection. And that really is what that moment of taking the gospel out to the people of God is meant to remind us of, that excitement, that energy. Um, it's a rush. It's a rush. It has to be done now and not later. And maybe sometimes in our church, um, all of our churches, complacency develops. We forget who we are, why we're here. And, and the electricity of all of these events that we're really living through and experiencing here, every time we open the Holy Gospel book, every time we celebrate our sacraments, every time we do a reading or, or a chanting piece in church, uh, that excitement, that sense of, of movement, and that sense that this can't wait one moment longer. It has to happen right now. So, and I think I see um, that's been in our narthex. Hello, welcome. Um, and she'll be with us for that wonderful presentation um, and for breakfast and especially as we always um, raise high in our church for worship. So thank you for your, for your patience, and please do rise up as we begin the great doxology. Thank you. Okay. Can we get a little bit of help with the quality and a good time? Okay. The week, the week, the resurrection. Okay, it's the other one. mercy on us, O God, according to your great love. We pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Again, we pray for Archbishop and Father Methodios and all of our brethren in service of Christ. Further, we pray for our brothers, the priests, little monks, deacons, monks, sisters, and all of our brethren in service of Christ, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bear offerings, those who do good works in this holy and venerable church, those who toil, those who sing, and all here present who await your great and plenteous mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy church who here elsewhere have been laid to pious rest. May their memory be Eternal, Otilemon, Kipilanthropos, the Usipatis, Kesin Doxan and the Pemblement of the Tree, Ketwio, Ketwayu, Benevati, Nikiai, Kes to Seonas, Donayonam. I mean, let us complete our morning prayer to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by your grace, 
that this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin. Let us ask of the Lord, grant this, O oh Lord, to the Madam Bas and to Leon Ihean, and any king get a mighty tone of the salmon and have to scale Linus to pass into his own mount, his daughter Theo, Parathometha, Parasku Kiria. Thank you. Forgiveness of our sins and offenses, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O oh Lord, Signomin Kiafasin Tona Martion. Ketom primele magdon imon paratru kiriu eti sometha. All that is good and profitable for our souls and peace in the world, let us ask of the Lord that we may live in our lives in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord, commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. For you are a God of mercy, compassion, and love, and to you we offer up glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with us all. Let us bow our heads to the Lord, to you. O Lord, Holy Lord, you dwell on high. But watch over things below with your all-encompassing gaze, and oversee all creation. To you we bow, both in spirit and in body. And to you we pray, Holy of Holies, extend your unseen hand from your holy dwelling place, and bless us all. And if we have sinned willfully or unintentionally as a good and loving God, forgive, granting us both your earthly and your heavenly gifts. For yours it is to show mercy and to save, O Christ our God, until we offer glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. O Nablaitos Christos of Theosimon, Pante Ninchia e Caestus Eonas Don Eonan Amin, Iperaia Theotokis Sosunimas, Doxus Eo Theos, Yelpissimon Doxus, may Christ our true God, who rose from the dead, for the prayers of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the prayers of the venerable and glorious prophet and former John the Baptist of the Holy Glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, the Holy Glorious and victorious martyrs, our holy and God-bearing fathers of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of Saint Gregory the Theologian, the patron saint of our church, of the holy and righteous ancestors of the Lord Joachim and Anna, of the venerable Ephrosini of Alexandria, whose memory we keep today, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is a good God and loves humankind. The Evcondona, he on paternal one, he is supersteo theos, a lay son, kisus, and he must. I mean, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Kiria to heal him, and it's a stomach. And I'm going to turn this in. So, oh Lord, you will open up my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Standing in the presence of your glory, we feel as though in Theotokos, O oh heavenly gate, open for us the door of your great and plenteous mercy. the kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Mm. Please be seated, everyone. Thank you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Archbishop and Father Methodios, for the Honorable Presbyterate 
for the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for the president, and for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. For this city and for every city and land and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For yours is the dominion and yours, the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Lord our God, save your people and bless your inheritance, protect the fullness of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, glorify them and return by your divine power and forsake us not who have set our hope in you.
Lord, you have granted us to offer these common prayers in unison and I promise that when truth we agree in your name, you will grant the requests. Fulfill now, Lord, the petitions of your servants as may be of benefit to them, granting us in the present age the knowledge of your truth and in the age to come eternal life. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Please stand. Thank you. Please rise. For you, O God, are good and love mankind, and to you we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of angels. Master, Lord our God, who has established the orders and hosts of angels and archangels in heaven to minister to your glory. Grant that the holy angels may enter with us, that together we may celebrate and glorify your goodness. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the entrance of your saints now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, let us be attentive. So
preserved and distorted what was made in the image of God. For taking up the cross, you followed Christ and by example taught that we should overlook the flesh since it passes away and instead look after the soul since it is immortal. And therefore, O devout Ephrosini, your spirit rejoices with the angels. Champion of Christians. Oh, no, it's okay. Him of the church, sorry, yeah. The pastoral flute of your theology won the victory over the trumpets of the orators. You're searching out the depths of the Holy Spirit. Even greater beauty into your words. So do pray for us to Christ our God. Holy Saint Gregory, to grant salvation to our souls. Champion of Christians, not put to shame, advocate before the Maker, always steadfast. Do not spurn sinners' voices raised in prayer. In your goodness, respond to bring help to us who devoutly petition you. Hasten your intercession and urgently make entreaty for you unfailingly defend Theotokos, those who honor you. Prostosia ton Christianon agates quinte mesitia proston pitin Ametafete, mi paridis, amartolon de ise on fonas, ala, profs na thonos agathi, istin voithi animon, ton pistos grav gazon ton si, ta kinonis presvihion, que spepsonis y que sihion, I prosta te fusahi, theo toke, ton timon, ton se. Let us pray to the Lord. For you, O God, are good and holy. And to you we offer up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Resting among the holy ones, praised by the seraphim with a thrice holy voice, glorified by the cherubim and worshipped by every celestial power. You have brought all things into being out of nothing. You have created man according to your image and likeness and adorned him with all the gifts of your grace. You give wisdom and understanding to the one who asks, and you overlook not the sinner, but have set repentance as the way of salvation. You have granted us your humble and worthy servants to stand even at this hour before the glory of your holy altar of sacrifice and to offer to you to worship and praise. Master, accept the Trisagi on him also from the lips of us sinners and visit us in your goodness. Forgive all of our voluntary and involuntary transgressions. Sanctify our souls and bodies and grant that we may worship you in holiness all the days of our lives through the intercessions of the Holy Theotokos and of all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. Amen.
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed are you seated on the throne of glory of the cherubim, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Agios Ophios, Agios Ischidos, Agios Athanatos, Seles, Sonimas, Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Agios Athanatos, Seles, Sonimas, Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Please do be seated for the epistle. Let us be attentive. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. To you, O Lord, I have cried, O my God. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, it is the God who said, let light shine out of darkness, who has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels to show that the transcendent power belongs to God and not to us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the body of the death of Jesus, so the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. For while we live, we are always being given up to death for Jesus' sake, so the life of Jesus may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life in you. Since we have the same spirit of faith as he who had wrote, I believed, and so I spoke, we too believe, and so we speak, knowing that he who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus, and bring us with you into his presence. For it is all for your sake, so that his grace extends to more and more people, and may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. Please stand if you can once, once more. Peace be with you who reigns. hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Let us listen attentively. At that time, Jesus was standing by the lake of Gennesaret, and he saw two boats by the lake but the fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, which was Simon's, he asked him to put out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people from the boat. And when he had ceased speaking, he said to Simon, put out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. And Simon answered, Master, we toiled all night and took nothing, but at your word I will let down the nets. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great shoal of fish. And as their nets were breaking, they beckoned to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both the boats so that they began to sink. And when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished, and all who were with him, at the catch of fish which they had taken. And so also were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. Henceforth you will be catching men. And when they had brought their boats to land, they left everything, and they followed him. Again, in countless times, we fall down before you who implore, and we implore you, O good one who loves mankind, that you, having regarded our prayer, may cleanse our souls and bodies of every defilement of flesh and spirit, and grant to us to stand before your holy altar of sacrifice, free of guilt and condemnation. Grant also, O God, to those who pray with us progress in life, faith, and spiritual understanding. Grant that they always worship you with awe and love, partake of your holy mysteries without guilt or condemnation, and be deemed worthy of your celestial kingdom. 
that ever guarded by your might, we may ascribe glory to you, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. No one bound by carnal desires and pleasures is worthy to approach, draw near, or minister to you, the King of glory, to serve you as great and awesome, even for the heavenly powers, yet because of your ineffable and immeasurable love, you impassibly became man. You, as the master of all, became our high priest and delivered unto us the sacred service of this liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. Indeed, Lord our God, you alone reign over the celestial and the terrestrial, born aloft in the cherubic throne, Lord of the seraphim and King of Israel, the only holy and resting among the holy ones, I now beseech you who alone are good and inclined to hear. Look down upon me, your sinful and unprofitable servant, and cleanse my soul and heart of a wicked conscience, and enable me by the power of your Holy Spirit, clothed with the grace of priesthood, to stand before your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. I come before you with my head bowed, <coughs> and I implore you to turn not your face away from me, nor reject me from among your children, but make me your sinful and worthy servant, worthy to offer to you these gifts, for you are the one who both offers and is offered the one who is received and is distributed and to we offer glory as to your Father who was without beginning and your all holy good and life creating spirit now and always and forever and ever. Amen. be escorted by the angelic hosts. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymn to the Let us set aside all worldly cares and we may receive the King of all and visibly escorted by the angelic hosts. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymn the life-giving trinity let us set aside all worldly cares we may receive the king of all and visibly escorted by the angelic host hallelujah 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 have mercy on god according to your great love the abundance of your tender mercies wipe out my offense for i am well aware my iniquity and sin is before you always it is you alone i have offended i have done what is evil in your sight wherefore you are justified in your charges and you are triumphant in your judgment Behold, I was born in iniquity and sin did my mother conceive me. But behold, you are the lover of truth. You have shown to me the secret and the hidden things of your wisdom. Wherefore, you shall sprinkle me with hyssop and I shall be pure. You shall cleanse me and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me to hear the sounds of joy and feasting the bones that were afflicted. Rejoice, having beheld the resurrection of Christ. Let us worship the name of Jesus, the only sinless one. Venerating cross of Christ, we praise and glorify in the resurrection of all people. Let's worship the Lord. God be gracious to me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. God be gracious. To me a sinner and have mercy upon me. God be gracious to me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. My brothers, forgive me. Brothers and sisters, we pray for those who love us and those who hate us. God be gracious to us all and have mercy upon us. Up on that with our master, lift up your voice in the night. star came and stood over where the child was with Mary, his mother. The virtual Lord is the heavens and the earth is full of your praise. Just pray the Lord, Lord, have mercy. Cover us under the shelter of your wings.
God. Remember all of us in his kingdom, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Please be seated once again. Thank you. <clears throat> Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us ask the Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our lives in peace and repentance. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. And let us ask for a Christian end to our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Grant this, o Lord. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. <clears throat> Lord God Almighty, you alone are holy. You accept the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart. Even so, accept from us sinners our supplication and bring it to your holy altar of sacrifice. Enable us to offer you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our own sins and the failings of your people. Deem us worthy to find grace in your sight that our sacrifice may be well-pleasing to you and that the good spirit of your grace may rest upon us and upon these gifts presented and upon all of your people. Please rise if you're able to. Thank you. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. Let 
let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. Christ is in our midst, he is and always shall be. I will love you, Lord, the Lord is my rock, he is my protection, my fortress and my deliverer. Christ is in our midst, Christ is in our midst. He was, is and always shall be. Let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of lights, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father through whom all things were made who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. Holy Spirit, Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is Holy Spirit, who spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand aright. Let us stand in awe. Let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. His proper <laughs> and right. Singing the triumphal hymn, exclaiming, proclaiming, and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord Savior, oh. heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna in the Proper and right to him, you to bless you, to praise you, to give thanks to you, to worship you in every place of your dominion. For you, O oh God, are ineffable, invisible, incomprehensible, existing forever, forever the same, you and your only begotten Son. And your Holy Spirit, you brought us out of nothing into being, and when we had fallen away, you raised us up again. You left nothing undone until you had led us up to heaven and granted us your kingdom, which is to come. For all these things, we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all things we know and do not know, for blessings manifest and hidden that have been bestowed on us, we thank you also for this liturgy which you have deigned to receive from our hands. Even though thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels stand around you, the cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft upon their wings, together with these blessed powers, Master who loves mankind, we also exclaim and say, Holy are you and most holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you and most holy, and sublime is your glory. 
You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. When he had come and fulfilled for our sake the entire plan of salvation on the night in which he was delivered up, or rather, when he delivered himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, and giving thanks and blessing, and blessing he howled and broke it and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Lavate fiate, tutum oestito soma, tue perimon clomenon, isafes in amartion. Likewise, after partaking of the supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Pietex of tu pontes, tuto estito emamu, totis canis thea thigis, toi perimon que bolon equinomenon, isafes in amartion. Remembering therefore the saving commandment and all that has been done for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand, and the second and glorious coming again. Your own, of your own, we offer to you in all and for Once again, we offer to you the spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, and we beseech and pray and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts presented, and make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Amen so that they may be to those who partake of them for vigilance of soul, remission of sins, communion of your most Holy Spirit, fullness of the kingdom of heaven, boldness before you, not for judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer you the spiritual worship for those who have reposed in the faith. Forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. For Saint John the Prophet, Forner, and Baptist, with the holy, glorious, most praiseworthy apostles, in commemoration of the venerable Ephrosini of Alexandria, whose memory we celebrate today, and for all your saints through whose supplications visit us, O God. And remember all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection to life eternal. Remember, Lord, our co-celebrant and erstwhile brother priest, Michael. Remember your headmaid, Andonia, Solon, Mosca, Martha, Leonidas, and all those today commemorated in the service of preparation. Great is the name of the Holy Trinity now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. We didn't get it with two hands. Great is the name of the Holy Trinity now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Grant them rest, O God, where the light of your countenance keeps watch again. We beseech you, Lord, remember all Orthodox bishops who rightly teach the word of your truth, the presbyterate, the diaconate in Christ, and every priest in monastic order. Again, we offer you the spiritual worship for the whole world, for the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church and those living pure and reverent lives. For civil authorities and our armed forces, grant that they may govern in peace, Lord, so that in their tranquility we too may live calm and serene lives in all piety and virtue. Remember, Lord, the city in which we live and every city and land and the faithful who live in them. Remember, Lord, those who travel by land, sea and air, the sick, the suffering, the captives and their salvation. 
Remember those who bear fruit and do good works in your holy churches and those who are mindful of the poor. And upon us all send forth your mercies. Among the first, remember Lord Archbishop and Father Methodios. Grant him to your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health unto length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. And remember those whom each of us has in mind and all your people. And all your people. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. And the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. Can be seated once again. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Let our God who loves mankind, having accepted them in his holy, celestial and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Having asked for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Please remain seated for a little bit. Good morning, everybody. It's good to see you. I wanted to say something that I, I always mean to say and often neglect to say that when it's time for us through the rubrics, through the, the rubrics of the services to stand and sit and all of these different things, I want you to know that if it's hard for you to stand, if it's hard for you to sit at given times, if it's hard for you to kneel, um, don't worry about it. Do what you can do and don't hurt yourself. God doesn't want you to hurt yourself in that way. Um, if I ask you to, to rise and you can't rise, uh, rise up in your heart. That's what it's all about anyway. So I want to make sure um, you know that, especially to the point where I'd be worried that it might keep some of us, um, because of pious devotion, from liturgy. And that's not the idea of anything or, or for parts of the service. So I want to make sure you know that I know that you're going to do what you can do. And that's just fine. Just raise up all of these things in your hearts. Um, before we prepare for Holy Communion, I did want to remind um, all of our teachers and children to please come first as Sunday school is once again in session. I can tell we have a lot of wonderful uh, boys and girls and young women and men here today. So I'm so glad that Sunday school is off to a, a terrific start. And I thank and commend all of our teachers and, and leaders. And I also wanted to just say a few words about Dr. Prasas, who's here with us today. Could you put your hand up and just wave, Dr. Prasas? I want to make sure you know who she is. They've seen your face on flyers and Facebook and things like that, um, but I wanted to make sure that we gave you a proper welcome. Um, she's going to be speaking today, um, a, a professor at Providence College. Um, she's going to be speaking today um, after kind of a, a joining our pancake breakfast downstairs, which is lovingly hosted and offered by our parish council. I thank all of our parish council members for helping enable that. And um, also before um, Dr. Prasas speaks as she has some pancakes as well at the table. I've invited all of our mirror bearing girls of our fledgling mirror bearing ministry, um, six, ages six through 18, that's a pretty big gamut, uh, to come and sit with her and to just chat and say hello and enjoy some food together. We had a wonderful meeting, by the way, last week of our mirror bearing girls and also of our altar servers to talk about reading the epistle, to talk about holding on Diderum, to talk about participating in Holy Week services, to talk about doing some fellowship things together, some outreach together, or what have you. So the timing is wonderful. And Professor will be talking to us about, specifically about the mirror-bearing woman as seen 
within the uh, Matins or Orthros Gospels that we read, and we read one today, of course, Sunday morning. So all of these things, I think, are coming together wonderfully. And to kind of prepare us in mind, heart, and soul for what she'll be speaking of, um, the Doxastikon, one of the, one of the prayers or hymns that was right before the great doxology this morning, um, invokes some of these amazing moments of these holy women, these dedicated women, uh, going and, and receiving the news of the risen Christ and the urgency and the power and the really electricity of that moment and the desire to share that with the world. So this is just one of these hymns that we read this morning and I think it might be a nice um, way to set the theme for later on today. At early dawn, the woman came to your tomb, O Christ, but the body they sought was not to be found. Bewildered, they heard from those standing about them who were clothed in radiant raiment, why do you seek him who lives among the dead? He is risen as he foretold. Have you forgotten his words? Convinced by all they saw, the woman went forth and proclaimed it. They brought their glad tidings to the disciples who were still so dazed they thought them to be untrue. But Peter went and saw and gave glory to the wonder itself. I'm so struck by the fact that the woman will be bewildered and the apostles were dazed. Even sometimes when you're, you're waiting for this moment, this beautiful thing to happen, the thing that's been promised, when it really happens, you can't believe it. You can't believe God is that good. You can't believe that the things that you have been hoping for and aspiring to spiritually are real. And it takes time for us to soak in what's happened. Faith takes time, it's a journey, and I think there's a great deal of humility that lives within these words as well. So we'll look forward to, to her um, presentation. And again, um, for our Sunday school teachers and parents and our young women, when you get down from Sunday school, go down to the hall and look for Dr. Prasas and have some pancakes. We have a couple of tables that are reserved for you to go and hang out. So uh, please do that, and we, we want to make sure that we make her feel uh, very welcome here at our St. Gregory family. Uh, once you come here, you're kind of stuck um, with us as, as your church family as well, in addition to the other church families that you have. And I um, appreciate you all. Please do rise for the continuation of the service. Thank you. We entrust to you, loving Master, our whole life and pray, and we beseech you and implore you, grant us to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this sacred and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of sins, the forgiveness of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, and boldness before you, not unto judgment or condemnation. And grant us, Master, with boldness and without condemnation, to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Paterimon. O in this Soranis, I hear Sitato on a massu, El Fetui Vasiliasu, Yenifito to Felimasu, O Senorano, Kiapitis Gis, Tonar Tunimon, Tonabusion, Dos Simin Simidon, Kiafa Siminta, O Felimati Mon, Os Kemis, the Yemenis, the Felati Simon, Kemia Senangisimas, Spiros Mon, Adarise Masa Paul to Poneru. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. We give thanks to you, invisible King, who by your boundless power fashioned the universe, and in the multitude of your mercy brought all things from nothing into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who have bowed their heads before you, 
for they have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth and beneficial for us all whatever lies ahead according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, heal the sick physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace, compassion, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good and life, creating spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Hearken, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from your holy dwelling place and from the throne of glory of your kingdom, and come to sanctify us, you who are enthroned with the Father on high, and are present among us invisibly here. And with your mighty hand, grant communion of your most pure body and precious blood to us and through us to all of your people. O oh God, be gracious to me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. Let us be attentive, the holy gifts for the holy people of God. The Lamb of God is broken, yet never divided, forever eaten, yet never consumed, but he sanctifies those who partake of him. The fullness of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Zesis pnematos heum, amin. The warmth of the Holy Spirit. Confess, Lord, that you are are truly truly the Christ, Christ, the the Son Son of the the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body, and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the remission remission of sins and for eternal eternal life. life. Amen. Amen. Behold, I approach for divine communion. O maker, burn me not as I partake, for you are fire consuming the unworthy, but cleanse me from every stain. Tremble, O man, as you behold the divine blood. It is a burning coal that sears the unworthy. The body of God both deifies and nourishes me. It deifies the spirit and wondrously nourishes the mind. You have smitten me with the yearning, O Christ, and by your divine errors you have changed me. But burn up with spiritual fire my sins and grant me to be filled with delight in you, so that, leaping for joy, I may magnify, O good one, in your two comings. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I should dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my vesture will condemn me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. Cleanse, O Lord, the filth of my soul, and save me, as you are the one who loves mankind. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Master who loves mankind, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my judgment, because I am unworthy but rather for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body and the pledge of the life and kingdom to come. It is good for me to cleave unto God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper. For I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief I confess to you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. My brothers, forgive me. (laughs) My brother, forgive me. Brothers and sisters, children, forgive me. Behold, I approach Christ, our mortal King and God, the precious and most holy body of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, is given to me, Alexander.
Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are God, apart from you we know no other. We call upon your name. Come all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, with the cross joy has come to all the world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Shine, shine, O New Jerusalem. For the glory of the Lord is dawned upon you. Dance now and be glad, Zion. And you, O pure Theotokos, rejoice in the resurrection of your Son. O voice divine, beloved and most sweet, for you, O Christ, have promised in truth to be with us until the close of the age. We faithful rejoice having this anchor of hope. O Christ, our Pascha, most sacred and great wisdom, word, and power of God, grant unto us to partake of you more profoundly in the unending day of your kingdom. Pisteos, que agapis proselfate.
O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided trinity. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and your glory be over all the earth. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and your glory be over all the earth. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and your glory be over all the earth. Blessed is our God, now and forever, and to the ages of the Hijab. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, mortal, heavenly life, giving and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. We give thanks to you, Master who loves mankind, benefactor of our souls, that even on this very day you have made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, fortify us in your fear. Guard our life, make secure our steps through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are sanctification, and to, you we give and to you we give glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of the Hegeons. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, who blesses those who bless you and sanctifies those who put their trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance, protect the whole body of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, glorify them in return by your divine power, and forsake us not who have set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to our civic leaders, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above coming down from you the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Christ our God, you are the fulfillment of the law and of prophets. You have fulfilled the Father's entire plan of salvation. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love always, now and forever, and to the ages of the Hegeons. Glory to you, O God, glory to you. May he who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all pure, 
and all immaculate and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophets, prophet and foreigner John, the Baptist of the holy glorious and praise were the apostles of the holy glorious and triumphant martyrs of our holy and God-bearing and God-bearing and righteous fathers of St. Gregory, the theologian, the patron saint of our church, of our father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, whose liturgy we celebrate today of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, in commemoration of the venerable Ephrosini of Alexandria, whose memory we keep today, and of all the saints have mercy on us and save us, for he is a good God and loves humankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. May the grace, love, and protection of the Holy Trinity be with all of us. Good morning again. Please be seated once again. Thank you. Again, good morning, everybody. Um, it was great to have Ashley hold the on Devereaux today. Ashley Cromack and Isabel Caradonna did the epistle reading in such a wonderful way. I know you'll see this in the bulletin and, and what have you, but um, I welcome all Orthodox Christians of our parish to come forward to get with me ahead of time. I'll give you plenty of notice and practice time, but to read the epistle on a given Sunday, it's something I really want to encourage, of course, among our youth, but that goes for all of us as well. Uh, it's great to hear your voices in church. It gives you a chance to participate liturgically, um, which is you know, not always a, a thing that we have a lot of room to do in the Orthodox Church in that way. So it's a wonderful thing to do. Please do check with me. I'll walk through the whole thing with you. And by the time the day comes, you'll feel practiced and relaxed. And I think you'll, you'll feel like you really did something special at, um, at church, at Divine Liturgy on that day. Um, I did want to mention to you that um, Today, you'll be down there eating, but we are going to have a churching, a, a private churching for little Luke George uh, Kosofsky um, coming. And I wanted to ask you to keep him in your prayers. He's a, a darling little guy, Luke George. Um, his 40-day blessing is today. Um, his parents, uh, Greg and, uh, and Megan, who I was able to marry and uh, with, with a great joy, um, not too long ago, we'll be bringing him. So please do raise up that name, that wonderful name, in your prayers today. And it's always terrific to bring somebody new into the church to bless those babies. 40-day blessings. And with their permission, I'll see if I can post a little picture today on Facebook um, to give us a sense, too, of the gravity of that day as we, as we you know, kind of reflect upon Christ also being brought to the temple in that way and held in, held in the arms of the righteous Simeon. I remember when um, Brandy's and my eldest daughter, Phoebe, was brought into the church at 40 days. It was at a Romanian Orthodox church with Father Nick Apostola, um, who I know some of you know for sure, a wonderful, wonderful man at the time. Um, they were building the church that is now in Shrewsbury, but they were operating out of a storefront makeshift church um, down in, I think that was on Route 9 West somewhere in that area, and it was so wonderful. And I think during the weekdays, it was like a real estate agency or something, and they would make room and have our, our little church service there. But I remember in that um, very simple but just, just amazing environment that Father Nick, when he brought Phoebe in, um, instead of walking up to the Orea Pili here and, and, or walking behind as some priest do or what have you, what he did is he brought her up here and, and, and prayed over her, and then he brought her and he lay her down on the solea, like laid her down right on the floor, 
and, and invited Brandy to go ahead and receive her and claim her once again. And it was such a striking thing. We didn't know if he was going to drop her or, or what have you. Like, what is he doing exactly? What are we supposed to do now? But this idea of really laying that child um, before, you know, before the kingdom of God and inviting us to go and, and claim her after that as a child of God with all of the, all of the repercussions of that and, and, and our duties that must follow after that along with the godparents. But that really is a, is a wonderful service. It's, uh, it's very brief, and um, every time that we're allowed to do one of those services in front of you, I love to do that because I think it's just so encouraging. A uh, few announcements, and I think then we'll, we'll be down to Pancake World a little bit early, which is very exciting. Um, we'll be having ongoing for the next few weeks, what have you, Sunday school sign-up. You can see Maureen today. You can see our teachers. Um, you can see our weekly bulletins. Uh, for the sign-up link, you can do that as well um, online. But do register your children so that we can take the best care of them possible, things like allergies and to know their birthdays and name days and all of these different things. So parents, if you haven't done that, please do go ahead and follow up on that. The bookstore will once again be open today. It looks very clean and shiny down there and all kinds of wonderful books for, for children, for adults, pamphlets, icons, wonderful little little prayer bracelets all kinds of nice things for you and also to give as a gift. Of course, we know about the, the breakfast. And again, I welcome, that's been a welcome to our parish. And uh, we'll have a little bite before long. And then at your leisure, we can begin your talk. And it's early enough that you're not going to have to worry about the Patriots. They're not until, what, 1 o'clock? You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Sometimes I see the fear in your eyes when I say, we're going to have this or that on the Patriots Day. You'll be, you'll be fine. Um, by the way, I came very early today. I was driving over here about quarter of six to catch, us, catch up on some things, so it's dark. And the guys were already out there uh, where that little bar is the, um, with, the, with the rooster on it um, at Route 1, and they were already putting out the cones and stuff. So when you go home, be aware of that. Avoid, avoid that like the plague. I did a, like my wife might call a Chetsis move, kind of like blowing past the guy who was trying to wave to me <laughs> so I could go the easy way. And uh, it was dark out, so I don't think he, he saw me too well. But um, anyway, I wanted to thank again our, our Philoptikos for leading us in the late summer and early fall here for the Back to School Backpack event. Um, that was a wonderful thing. And with your help, Philoptikos was able to offer backpacks and lots of school supplies to children in our greater area that could use a little bit of a hand. And remember that the Philoptikos membership drive goes on from now all the way till the end of the year. So Anna's here today. You can see her, check in with her, um, Yvette as well, and, and Nicole, and I'm sure many other Philoptikos members as well. Stephanie up close to me. So you can see one of them um, today to, to check in on that. Uh, we will be having an October 2nd Goya meeting. We have a wonderful Goya group this year, so they'll be having and now having elected officers and done some brainstorming together, we'll have a planning meeting after Sunday school in October. Second, the St. Modesto's Pet Blessing event is on October 15th. It's a Saturday, 11 a.m. to 12. We've been inviting um, some local animal helping organizations to send along pamphlets and lists of, of animals in the area that could use an adopter. We've even tried to get some of them to come to bring an animal, but there are complexities with that, especially with the state-run, I mean, the, the city-run shelter in Mansfield as far as interacting um, with us in that way. Um, but uh, we've been posting on our social media on the event, um, you know, kind of highlighting different animals and pets that could use um, an adoption. So do, do check out that events page that we've made on our, fa within our Facebook. Um, for the Pet Blessing Facebook event, because you'll see all these wonderful little animals that could use a home, and you can spread the word on that. Um, also, and I'm very happy about it, there's a, a Greater Attleboro Area um, Clergy Association, which covers Mansfield. There's about 40 churches within that, and I spoke with a wonderful man, uh, Reverend Burt, this week, who um, has taken our flyer and, um, and the Facebook invite, and he's spreading that and inviting that to all of his congregations so that maybe we can have that event not just be a gentle outreach event to our own people and um, to, to those who love their pets within our parish and the greater community, but also um, somewhat of an ecumenical event where we get to meet people from different faith backgrounds and show them some hospitality, which I think would be a lovely thing. October 16th, the next day I'll start on, sun, on it's a Sunday, 
after, after Divine Liturgy, um, the first of several Orthodox life sessions that focus on contemporary moral issues so we can grab a coffee and find a little bit of space and have a little discussion. I'm gonna be using Father Stanley's book, Contemporary Moral Issues, Father Stanley Harakas's book to talk about many of the things that we hear about, read about every day that get pushed out to us on our phone and to have that not as a formal, formal presentation so much, but more of a, a conversational piece. October 23rd is the Prayerful Pumpkin Carving event for hope and joy, so save the date for that. Um, believe it or not, our Habitat for Humanity um, um, situation is becoming more and more clear. It looks like now we'll probably have a, our build day in October or early November, but um, they are kind of hashing out Old Colony Habitat is the final details of that. So we're still seeking donations and commitments so that we can come to the table, um, you know, helping to, to um, pay for and support the materials and all of those types of things. So you can see me if you'd like to make a donation and or we also need people to build on that day. And I don't know what the work looks like yet, but we need about 20 people and then people to support them and maybe bring them lunch and stuff. So there's a lot of room for a lot of people to get involved, um, but please do see me on the earlier side about all of those things, especially concerning the fundraising, which is getting to that point where we have to start to get ready to offer that. Um, and finally, on behalf of our stewardship ministry, um, thanking you all for your commitments thus far in 2022 and your generosity, as always, time, talent, treasure. And uh, to remind you that um, there are cards in the narthex. You can see uh, Phil, our, our uh, stewardship chair today, anytime downstairs. You can um, do your commitment card online. You can also even give online all of these different things uh, during this um, tight time for our church. And again, these are practical things I say, but you know, most importantly, what's behind stewardship and what's under it. Um, there's, a very, there's a great difference between us and God. Um, he didn't need to create us. He created us out of love, out of love, out of, out of joy, out of his creative energy. And so we have, in a good way, a very imbalanced relationship with him. There's God, and then there's us. There's no way we can reciprocate, right? He doesn't want anything from us. Um, the only thing that, that we can do that's proper is to allow our hearts to fill with joy and thanksgiving for all of our many blessings, uh, for the life in us, for the, for the breath in us. Thank him for the things that we struggle with, the things that we, that we have success with, everything, the whole life experience coming closer to him, and to raise up, again, in the spirit of um, the new ecclesiastical year, the first fruits, and offer them to him. Remember at the service, your own of your own. We have nothing to give him, so we receive the best gift of all, Christ, and we raise it back up. That's all we do. And so that's, that's, what, drives, that's what drives stewardship. It's offering our love, our love and our thanksgiving to God um, in multifarious ways. And that's, that's what drives that. That's what powers that. That's what should power that. But it's easy for me to forget, easy for all of us to forget. So I'll leave it at that. Um, why don't we, because I have the baby coming soon, why don't we stand up and we'll bless the food from here. Stand up if you're able, and then we'll bless the food. You can go ahead and eat, and there won't be any repercussions. I won't come down and look mad or anything. Uh, we'll bless the food from here. You can go down there. And um, also, again, uh, make, sure to, uh, make sure that Vespina gets to one of those reserved tables and do um, um, parents, Sunday school leaders, please do bring our girls over to sit with her, and I'll be down as well as soon as I can. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Christ our God, we ask you to bless the food and drink of your servants and to multiply it in the homes of the hungry, for you are holy until the ages of ages. Amen. Further, Lord, we invoke your blessing upon our children, upon our entire parish, upon this um, moment to be able to learn and grow in the faith with with Professor Prasas and to multiply her good works in her ministry and her academic efforts at Providence College and to bring her back to us um, in a time in, in the near future to do even more together in your holy name. Amen. Thank you, everybody.
name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Thee, our God. Glory to Thee, Heavenly King, O Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things. O Treasury of every good and bestower of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O Good One. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Aios o Theos, Aios Isiros, Aios o Thanatos, Eleis o Nimas. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 